Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. If you're into history and language, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Today we're going to look at the word politics, noun. The process by which communities decide who will give the orders, who will follow them, and what happens when they are disobeyed. History and Etymology Affairs of the Cities that was the meaning of the title of Aristotle's book, Politics, or, in Greek, Politikia. As usual, with words relating to politics, government, and the ruling class, the word came into the English language through Norman French, after the Norman conquest of Britain in 1066. And it entered the English language primarily as an adjective, the same way we would use political today. It wasn't until 1429 that it was first used in something close to the modern sense. And then it referred to specifically the state or the government. And most of the time, that's still the way we use the word today. But I was thinking of how the word politics is used and how its derivatives are used. And I think the definition has expanded slightly so it no longer just includes government organizations, but authority structures as a whole. Phrases like office politics and political correctness, neither of which refer directly to government anymore, but both point towards what looks like authority. There are many times where I hear the word politics used to refer to something that's not government. I've heard it used referring to video game communities and guilds and World of Warcraft and all sorts of applications. So I don't think it primarily refers to government anymore, hence my definition that I used at the beginning of this video. Reviewing field research. When I ask you for definitions for the word politics, I got some great responses. And I'm going to get this joke one out of the way first. Here's one from Clay on Gab. Politics, spelled P-O. P.O. People. That is me. And you. L.I. The government lies to the P.O. People. Ticks. Bloodsuckers. Bloodsuckers who lie to the people. That about sums it up. I got a kick out of that one. And this one here from Adherent of Lady Columbia on YouTube, I think fits a more classical definition of the word politics. The interaction between various groups of differing opinions on the matters of governments, engaged in either deals and or taking control of institutions of government power. Very classical definition of the word politics. And many of the other uh, responses I got spoke directly to the corruption of many of our current governments in our countries around the world. Um, but the m one that most influenced my definition, the one I put at the beginning of this, was, was from a Twitter user called Dualistic Monist. Matters relating to the polis, or city-state, is the origin. However, I feel the word now means any matters relating to power that do not involve outright war. This is the one that made me think about the other uses of the word politics and how it doesn't really involve government all the time. Sometimes it's about workplace. Sometimes it's about the office or video games. Or it's the way we talk and the way it's policed by those around us. Which leads me to my next segment. Prescription and commentary. In this section, I wanted to talk more specifically about the phrase political correctness. One of the first written uses of the phrase was in a 1939 issue of the New York Times, and it was in reference to Nazi Germany granting permits only to pure Aryans whose opinions are politically correct. In this situation, it meant that people, or in this case pure Aryans, that have opinions that match or are correct 
according to the government, if they match what this government dictates, whether they match what the government says is correct. And it was also popularized between communists and socialists. And it was used in a derogatory way to refer to people who were so focused on what the Communist Party line was that they forgot the point of what they were trying to do when was helping people. Well, that's what they thought they were trying to do anyway, seeing as they were communists and socialists. But now we're coming to a place in society where some people just simply mean being polite when they say politically correct, when really what it means is you're forgoing what is actually correct for the dictates of someone else. And this word political and the definition that I think it's gained really shows you what this word politically correct means. It's like the phrase, if you want to know who rules you, look at who you can't criticize. And in this case, if you want to know who's in charge, who makes the orders, who gives the orders, look at the people you can't offend. And even to some extent, we're not really offending the people that political correctness is trying to protect. We're offending people that are feeling offended on their behalf. Those are the people that are in charge. Those are the political body, the power body over us at this point in time, if you, well, over you, if you partake in political correctness. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or, or you feel you've learned something, please leave a like and share it with a friend who you think might like it or find it interesting or learn something. Make sure you subscribe to both my BitChute and YouTube channels and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and The Big Boys. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support this project and channel, you can find the links in the description to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.